In a survey of 200 college graduates, 30% said they had received student loans during their college career and 40% said they had received scholarships. What percent of those surveyed said that they had received neither student loans nor scholarships during their college career? So first of all, 30% said they had received student loans. So 30% of 200 is 60. 60 received student loans. That means 140 didn't. And 40% said they received scholarships. Well, 40% of 200 is 80. So 80 received scholarships and 120 didn't. And I'm going to write this information in both tables. I created two tables so that I can use one table to analyze statement number one and another table to analyze statement number two. If you have only one table, you risk carrying information from statement number one into statement number two when you're trying to consider statement number two alone. So statement number one by itself, 25% of those surveyed said they had scholarships but no loans. So 25% of those surveyed, that would be 50. These people had a scholarship and no loan. Well, if we're able to figure out one box in here, then by adding and subtracting, we can figure out all the other boxes. If we can figure out all the other boxes, we can figure out the percentage. And so this statement by itself is sufficient. So now forget statement number one, move on to statement number two. 50% of those who said that they had received loans said that they also had received scholarships. So everyone who said they received a loan, 60, 50% of them said they had received a loan and 50% said they hadn't. So 30 said they received a, a scholarship and 30 said they didn't receive a scholarship. Well, then again, this means we could figure out these other numbers. And once we have all the numbers, we can figure out any percentage we want. So this statement is also sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.